But one thing's for sure, this showdown between Post and Refurio was something like an all-out rock'em, sock'em robots uh, battle, if you will. Uh, the very close game in the first half. The second half, well, all about the kids from South Texas as they pull out the dub 28-7, claiming the Class 2A Division I State Championship. Well, hello and welcome to AT&T Stadium here in Arlington, Texas. I'm Manny Diaz. The Bobcats brought it tonight, that's for sure. Uh, coming up, uh, we're going to talk to the old ball coach as he uh, shares his thoughts on the difference between the first half and the second half uh, and who was let loose in the second half that was the true difference maker of this one, plus what this win meant tonight to the tradition, to the history of this referial program. First things first. Highlights. Isidro Mascaro and the Refurio Bobcats going for the program's fifth state title along with some additional program history which we'll get to in a bit. Taking on the kids from West Texas, the Post Antelopes who are entering tonight's contest undefeated. About halfway through the opening frame, no score, Refurio looking to get something going. The QB1 Austin Ochoa finds the kid in the raw color uni, Post snagging the INT. Next post possession, the Bobcats return the favor. The pass tipped and picked as Antoine Gross comes down with the Oski. Refurio back in business. Ensuing catch drive. Check out this grab from Jordan Kelly. Only needed one hand here, but the drive would be short lived due to a fumble that Post would recover. Next Antelope's possession, they give it to Ashton Jefferson, who's move, moving on up for the six yard touchdown and the bold goal from the South Plains is on the board first, seven nothing post. Second quarter now, same score, but Refurio, with a few ideas to change that. Check out Austin Ochoa getting loose, telling the old ball coach Jason Heron, let me spin coach, but a big game. Later in the drive on fourth and goal, the Bobcats going for it. Holla at your boy Austin Ochoa for the two yard touchdown. Game tied at seven, heading to the half. To the third quarter, Refurio on the move, Ochoa to Najee Gadsden, who's making a few moves and looks like he might have gotten in, but just stopped shy of the goal line. Very next play, Ochoa, get used to hearing that name, carries the mail himself, giving Refurio its first lead of the game, 14 to seven. Closing moments of the third, Ochoa looking in the direction of Jaron Gonzalez, and he's got him, Gonzalez, off to the races for a big gainer deep in the heart of post territory. Later in the drive on third and goal, Ochoa up the gut and in for the score. Refurio beginning to pull away, making it 21-7 just like that. Under 10 to go in the fourth, bold gold trying to make something happen on fourth and three, but no dice as the Bobcats stuff the play. Turnover on downs. Ensuing drive. Fourth and goal, a touchdown could put it away. Ochoa goes over the top for the score. Dude was something else tonight. Good for 116 yards rushing on 27 carries and four touchdowns. Also threw for a cool 207 yards. That would be all she wrote as the Refurio Bobcats take the dub 28-7, notching the program's fifth state title. Austin Ochoa named the offensive MVP, while Javon Williams named defensive MVP. Williams, huge tonight, coming up with six and a half tackles, three and a half those, good for a loss. After the game, Jason Herring giving us the goods on what changed from the first half to the second half, and of course, the history that was made. When, when we scored right before half, that was huge. Our kids got some confidence and then we stopped them. And then the second half, I said, you know what? The gloves are off, just like I did in the Mark game. And I turned it over to Austin. I turned it over to Austin last year against Shiner. He had 600 yards. Turned it over to him again this year against Shiner. He had 600 yards. Turned him over against Mark. He had five. Y'all get the story? This senior class just became the winningest senior class in Refurio football history. Think about what I'm saying. I, I had been here only 13 years, but I've coached a lot of stud senior classes. This senior class just became the winningest senior class in the history of Refurio with, I believe, 57 wins. That's incredible. That's incredible. Hats off to the kids. We'll talk about one heck of a year for this Refurio Bobcats program. An undefeated season capped off by a Class 2A Division I state championship. But wait, the 
there's more. This win that makes uh, this refugio senior class the most winningest in program history, which says oh so much as one of the best programs in the state of Texas. Of course, uh, congrats uh, to the Bobcats, and most definitely congrats to the Post Antelopes on reaching this, uh, this part of the season. Uh, that region itself, uh, tough as nails. Congrats to those guys and get into the state championship game. All right, well, that's going to do it for day one here at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. It's been fun. It's been real. Uh, day two, some good stuff coming up tomorrow as Class 2A finishes up, uh, along with uh, we'll see some Class 3A matchups here at the old stadium. All right, for the San Angel Live and Cover 1 crew, I'm Manny Diaz. Good night. God bless. We'll see you on day two.